What's up everyone, Steven here from Tech Maker Studio. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how to grab random attributes for our images that we worked on in the last episode uh, with different weights um, or rarities on each attribute. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link to it down in the description. But for now, this is the image we generated last time manually. Um, and basically, I'm building all this stuff for a generative NFT project. Um, and there's different frogs, there's different hats, and so on. The real project has far more attributes, but I'm just kind of working out the basics of the code here. So what I want to basically do is assign different probabilities to each of these attributes appearing. Before we look at any code, I want to look at a library that we're going to be using, uh, which is just a built-in random library in Python. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just run a Python 3 shell, and we're going to import random. And we're just going to create a list here. So we'll just say uh, samples equals zero, or let's say one and two, just a two items list of samples here. And then we'll do random dot choices. And then we can say samples. And it's going to give us an array with one item. You can actually specify uh, k equals 2 in this case to get back uh, randomly chosen from the list, like in a number of uh, items. So we could have so on and so forth. Makes sense. So basically, we could have like if we will set k to 20, it'll give us back 20 items all selected from our list of samples. So we should get a bunch of ones and twos. And so the cool thing we can do is actually set weights on these. So uh, what happens is it maps a list of weights that we give it onto our list of samples. So if we just said uh, 50 here, we're saying, uh, so what you're supposed to do is like, let's say the default is 50-50 because we gave it two uh, choices. Uh, I need to put a comma. So that's sort of the default, right? So we could come in here and we could mess around. We could say, make this one 90 and this one 10. And now we should have way more ones. In that case, we have all ones. Uh, you can see here we have two twos, so on and so forth. But it's way more likely to get a one now. We could change this to be 100 and zero. And now we're never going to get it to ever. And we could make this, first of all, if we remove one of these, we get an error saying we don't have an equal number of weights for the sample. So if you have four or five samples, you have to have four or five weights, respectively. In our case, we have two samples, so we need two weights. Um, what happens if we do 150? Uh, so I don't know exactly what's going on there. I guess like that probably is actually equivalent to doing 66 and 33, maybe, because it's like doing the ratio. Um, but anyway, so typically what you want to do is do some numbers that add up to 100 here. I'm going to go ahead and clear this um, just to have a little more space on the screen. So what I'm going to be doing, though, is just working with a single number. So what I'm going to do, um, or a single item from my list of samples. So we'll say samples equals, and we're actually probably, we're going to have strings, or actually we may just have image objects, I'm not sure. Could be a URL, could be an image object. I'm not sure yet. Probably not a URL, more like a path, um, a local path or something. Anyway, we'll move on to that in a minute. But let's just say we have like ABSDF here and uh, some other ones here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so those are my samples. And then we'll say random.choices. And then we'll have samples. And let's give it weights of like weights equals, let's say the first one is 60%, the next one's 35, and the next one's 5. And then we don't need to set a K because the default is 1, and we just want to get one item. And let's just make sure that's working. And then we can actually get the, uh, just grab the first item in the list. And so now we get ASDF most of the time. And we probably won't see an E thing. But anyway, we don't need to go all the way through this to find it. That's basically how this works. Um, if you loop through this enough times, eventually you'll get that last option, but you can see that it's not showing up, so this is more rare. So basically what I'm gonna do is write the same code 
um, and we'll select, I'll have my, I think I'm probably going to have my paths to images in a list of samples like this. And then we'll set some weights and then we'll generate an image based on that selection. So let's jump over to the code and try that out. So I'm going to just modify my frog spawn dot py that I had over here. So what we can do is say something like, uh, how can we do this? Let's say um, frogs equals, and then we'll make an array. I don't want that intermediate in there. I don't know why that populated. And then what we can do is grab like frogs uh, dot slash frogs, frog blue dot png. And we'll do dot we'll do frog green. I'm gonna set this up uh, in a particular way because I know I'm gonna add a lot more attributes and frogs and hats and so on. So I'm gonna kind of format it right so that it's easy to add to later. So we've got our frogs here. Um, next thing, let's do cigars. So we'll say cigars equals like that. And where's my cigar PNG here? Okay. Um, so I've got my gold and what other one do I have in here? Black. Okay, and then I'm going to do my, so hats. Okay, and then I'll just grab the white one. And I think the other one is the black hat, uh, like that. Okay, so what we basically want to do now is I'm going to select a hat. So I'm going to say frog, or I'm going to select a frog, a cigar, and a hat. So first of all, let's import random up here. And we'll say random.choices. And then we'll say uh, frogs. And we'll say weights equal... And then we only have two options right now. Let's say that the blue is 80% of the time and the green is 20% of the time. Let's say that we want to do the cigar equals cigars. So, and then the same thing for hats. So I don't really need to worry about... Uh, these weights too much right now because I actually need to sit down on paper with all of my attributes later and map out exactly what probabilities I want for each one. But basically what this is indicating is the most common thing should be a blue frog with a gold cigar and a white hat. Okay. And then you have like 20% chance of getting a green frog or a black hat or a, or a, yeah, or a black hat down here or a black cigar. Sorry, I got those backwards. But you get the idea. So then, I'm not sure, let's see, uh, maybe I just need to put the R like in front of these things. This is, like, Python isn't my uh, main language, so I'm not exactly sure what this R does. Um, but let's start by just opening up frog. Might have to add the R here somehow. Um, let's find out. Then we'll add cigar, we'll create our composite, and then we'll do the hat. So it's not throwing any errors. Uh, oh, I need to put that as hat, not hats. Okay. And there we go. So let's try this out. So we're just going to run our frog spawn over here. Python 3 frog. Uh, what's in this directory here? So I should just be able to run uh, Python 3 and what's the name of our file frog spawn.py attribute error list object has no attribute seek uh, let's go look at this so if you follow the channel for long you know that python is not my main thing but i think what's happening is we actually forgot to select the first element here um, because what this does remember is it returns an array so let's try that again. Okay, so it did not explode that time. Okay, so we have a blue frog. Is that our same frog? 
Let's go check it out again. I think that's the same frog. Let's delete the frog. So again, what's the most likely thing? So the most likely is blue, gold, and white. Let's, uh, let's run it one more time and just make sure this is actually generating a new image. I probably should have done different ones. So we have blue, gold, and white. Okay, so that's obviously the most likely. Um, let's run it one more time and just see if we get lucky. Okay, so now we have a green, a white, and a gold. Okay, so it's obviously random and we're getting more of the ones we think we should. Um, let's, we can invert these, so our, not like that. Uh, so now I have my black on top, that's the most likely. Let's run it one more time. And uh, what's our final look like? So now we have black, blue, and white. Okay, cool. So you can see that we're getting mostly the ones that we say that we want. Um, I haven't done all of this before exactly, so I'm kind of just testing around to see how it all works, but I think this makes perfect sense. Um, that's pretty much it for this episode. What I need to do for my own project is basically add a ton more assets and set all the weights. And then there's going to be some conditional stuff. Like if you get one choice, like if you get a, there's going to be a choice between like poison frogs or regular frogs. And depending on which one you get, you're going to have access to other attributes and so on and so forth. So there's a lot to do on this, but this is sort of the basics of how to set this up. Um, I think in the next episode, we're probably going to start looking at how to actually generate this stuff on the ALEF network. This entire project, except for the smart contract, which is going to run on Ethereum, everything else is actually going to run on ALEF in their virtual machines. So it's going to be pretty sweet. It's going to be 100% decentralized uh, for the most... Well, 100% or close. The website may or may not run on ALEF, but as far as the actual NFTs are concerned, the actual generation and the housing of them and all that stuff, that will all be 100% decentralized. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I think that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. If you're enjoying this, be sure to hit subscribe and hit the like button. I'll talk to you next time.